about to get the shot quality bets free pick of the day broken down, explained through advanced analytics and more. We'll recap yesterday's pick and, of course, tell you how to get this play in your email every single day because it's what we do every single day. We're out here on YouTube. Make sure you like, subscribe so that you see every single video we post. You're one of the first to know here on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, if you aren't already getting the emails, just type in your email address right there. Click get free picks on the shockqualitybets.com homepage and you will get this pick emailed to you every single day as well as, you know, it being all across our socials and everything. Make sure you join the Discord, discord.gg slash shockquality. And we have another great free article on the basketball analysis tab from our guy, Three Point Sniper, one of our contributing handicappers. He's been hot, so click the basketball analysis tab, read that article, tail the plays. It should go well. He uses shock quality data just like we do right here. Let's not uh, beat around the bush. Yesterday was gross. We had Army Lemoyne go going over game didn't even reach 120 points we had around 134 shock quality score was exactly 134 both teams really ice cold so that means that maybe we should have expected this to be a little bit more up in the air rather than what felt like a dud lemoyne coming out of the first half with only 19 points army only 27 points um you know thankfully army shot a little hotter and made it look decently close but yeah this really Neither team could could get the lid off the bucket. It happens. The on, over was just dead on arrival, it felt like. Now, was it really that bad? Maybe not as bad as it felt, uh, but still not great. We want to win these picks 21-9 and nine in 30 days. We're going to try to get back on track right here. We're going to go with the spread instead of a total today. We're going to go with this Towson team. If you saw, they're playing the UMass Minutemen. Uh, and this is going to be a really good game. Towson has played a pretty heavy schedule here. As you can see, UMass sports one of the lightest schedules so far and hasn't played a road, a true road game. They will be playing one today going to Towson. You can see Towson three and five, shot quality expecting four and four, a big plus 13.8 on this luck score here. Um, you know, just lost a big game to South Dakota State on neutral. That was expected to be a very tight contest. These are the types of things that, you know, that margin versus the expected margin can lead to a difference in perception in the market. So uh, Towson looking like they might be getting unlucky. Uh, they, you know, they're one in seven against the spread right now in these eight games. Shot quality expects them to be four and four against the spread. So we are seeing some decent value in this spread market on them. Uh, like a few things that they're going to be able to do here. Second best offensive rebounding team in the nation. A few of these, you know, statistics that you don't see that, you know, that don't look so good uh, can be explained a lot by some of the regression that, you know, is expected to come their way. Their offensive efficiency is currently 0.12 points per possession lower than expected. Uh, so that means every 10 possessions, they're expected to be earning 1.2 points more than they actually are. Uh, and then we go to Massachusetts, who's look good. I mean, again, a lot of green here, everything. But again, they've only played five games. All of them have been home games. Um, you know, I wouldn't say Albany, Quinnipiac, Central Connecticut. These are great schools. Um, you know, they were expected to beat not great schools, great, like, you know, top team schools academically, I'm sure are awesome. Uh, but, you know, lost to Harvard in a home game. They were actually expected to win. But you can see a couple of these results are more inflated than actual Central Connecticut, almost a nine, a 30 point win you know, expected to be a two point win. These are the types of things that can sort of come back around, lead to expectations being a little bit too high for this UMass team. And again, on the road, a little unlucky or a little too lucky. Sorry, negative means too lucky. They have been getting lucky. Uh, and so they are expected to be less lucky. Um, so it's negative by four and a half percent. And uh, yeah, I think this is a really nice spot. UMass is definitely looking like a team people have a lot of expectations on. Defense expected to be letting up a lot more points. So just the same way that Towson was at 0.95 offensively, expected to be scoring 1.07. These guys have weirdly identical numbers somehow. UMass is expected to be giving up a lot more points. This might be the exact time to buy in on Towson. You could see a little bit of an offensive explosion compared to what maybe the market is looking at for this game. So getting two and a half points. As you can see here, shot quality projects this game for UMass as a 68 to 73 loss to Towson. So we have about seven points of value on this. You can play it all the way to a pick 'em, 
Really nice play here on Towson. Has some uh, good statistical backing. It's our play of the day. Again, Towson plus the two and a half against UMass. So go get it. Let's have a good day. Let's get back in the win column. I'll be here tomorrow giving out the next play no matter what. We'll be talking it through, telling you why, what happened, what shot quality things. That's the fun of being here. It's supposed to show you how you can go and then do this yourself and hopefully find some winners. Let's get to that 20-second win. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>